going on djbooth.net this is kareem julian aka dj blaze and i'm here in the lab to give you guys a full in-depth hd video review of the new reloop terminal mix 2 digital dj controller okay everyone so here it is the reloop terminal mix 2 if it looks familiar it's because we reviewed the terminal mix 4 which was the four deck counterpart of this controller. The difference is being this is a little bit more compact. They still have the same jog wheels. They have the same build quality. The overall impressions of the Terminal Mix 2 is very good just like it was with the Terminal Mix 4. You have a completely metal chassis. Everything is built really solid, really tough. All of your knobs are plastic, hard, and oversized. I love the sizing. Um, and they also have a metal post underneath, meaning that you have a very solid controller, st solid construction. You have the same sized, oversized jog wheels, and these are also aluminum, and they have a nice ribbed surface to them. Just like the, the other jog wheels, they're some of the best jog wheels that you can find on a controller to date. And overall impressions, again, are very, very good. It's a very solid unit. It's nice and compact. You can fit it in most of your laptop bags and in most of your smaller style DJ bags with no problem. So good overall impressions that leads me to the setup of the controller and basically the setup of the controller is going to be as easy or as hard as you make it but just like any other DJ controller the setup is fairly simple you're going to get a disc that comes with the Terminal Mix 2 and inside that disc you're going to have the Serato DJ intro software, you're also going to have the virtual DJ LE software and the drivers are all on one disk. So if you're using a Windows machine, you're going to put the disk in, you're going to run the drivers and then you're going to set it up for Serato DJ intro which is two decks or you're going to set it up with virtual DJ LE which is four decks and you might be wondering what I'm talking about with the four decks but it's still a four deck controller because you have a layering function here you have a deck 3 and a deck 4 button that you see here and basically what that does is it turns your controls on this side of the of the actual controller to deck 3 when you press that and normally it's deck 1 same for this side this is normally deck 2's controls but when you press the deck 4 and deck 4 is highlighted then you have a completely new layer and this is a deck 4 controller so it's a 4 deck 4 channel controller although it only shows 2 at a time so your setup is fairly simple. You run all your CDs, all your drivers, and you're pretty much plug in the USB cable, plug in your headphones to the front of the unit, and then you plug in whatever output option you're going to use on the back, and you're pretty much ready to play. Okay, so here's the inputs and outputs. First off, we have the DC in for your power connection. The power connection, the power pack does not come in the box with the Reloop Terminal Mix 4 or the Reloop Terminal Mix 2. Um, therefore, you will need USB in order to power this device on. Here's your power button. It's a plastic toggle button. You have your balanced quarter inch outputs left and right. Then you have your master unbalanced RCA and you have a separate booth RCA as well. Next up, you have a shift lock on or off. That way when you're in MIDI mode, you can actually have it layered in shift lock mode or in off shift lock. Also, we have an input one. This is a nice throughput. Uh, you can use this in conjunction with the uh, volume controls on the front of the unit. And this is either a line level or phono level input. And here's your ground post when you're using your record deck. So around the front, we have the microphone quarter inch input. We also have the level, volume, and the tone EQ for this mic. We also have your level volume knob on the front for your input on the other side of the unit that we just showed you. Um, all of these knobs, they do protrude once you press them. They have a plastic feel to them, but they feel pretty sturdy and they work exactly as they're supposed to. Next up, we have a crossfader curve control cut sharp setting all the way to your right and long smooth setting all the way to the left and we also have here a set of headphone jacks you have the quarter inch and the mini and you also have a low high tone EQ control
Okay, so after we show you the inputs and outputs and all the controls on the front of the controller, we can now talk about the actual mixing portion of the controller. The mixing portion is all in the middle. Here you also find your file navigation, but we'll start off with the crossfader. The crossfader again, same crossfader that's found on the Terminal Mix 4. It's a very nice reassuring feel to this crossfader. It doesn't feel plasticky like some of the other DJ controllers out there. It feels like it's more metal based in construction and it really feels solid. I was able to pull off all of my scratching routines with the fader uh, just as long as it was something that I could pull off on the controller of course. And Basically, we had a pretty low cut-in distance of about one and a half to two millimeters. Um, sounds pretty long, but it was very, very easy for me to pull off all the scratching and juggling that I needed with this fader. And it also is very smooth for your smooth fades as well. It's a pretty loose fader, so it's good for you know those fast movements. And you also have your line faders here, which have a slower, more tension-filled movement to them, but they feel very nice and they work just as they should. Next up we have the master level UV line meters here. This only shows the master. It does not show your individual channels or line levels. So that's one of my gripes with the unit just as it was with the Terminal Mix 4. You would like to see what level you're at without always looking at your software or um, without looking anywhere else where you need to determine what levels you got to get to. So that's one of my main gripes with the unit. Next up we have the actual loading and browse controls. Again you have an oversized knob just like what's found on the Terminal Mix 4. It's very nice to the feel, has a touch to it so that way you can click and when you're ready to load your track you just press the button here to load onto that side of the deck or you press this button here to load the track onto the other side. You also have a back prep crates and view navigation controls you have a cue button for each of your different lines this will cue what you have in the headphones moving right up we have the cue mix button or fader knob which will actually change either what you're hearing in the headphones to either master or to your cue whatever you have selected you have your headphone volume control knob and you also have your booth volume control knob which is separate from the master volume control knob at top you have a filter knob for each of your decks along with the low, medium, and high for all of your channels and a gain knob at the top. Next up we'll talk about the actual decks and right from the bat you see the big oversized jog wheels again just like with the Terminal Mix 4 these are some of the best jog wheels that we've used. They're oversized, perfect size great feel for scratching the actual adjustment for the touch sensitivity is built into the machine you can do it with the advanced features you have to hold a couple buttons and press power and then you can adjust the sensitivity of the actual uh, jog wheels and that's a pretty cool feature to have uh, but just as they come from the factory they're excellent they're nicely weighted they have some extra spins to them when you're actually spinning it back so really good jog wheels here and they have a great one-to-one -one operation when using it with Serato DJ Intro when you're using it with Virtual DJ LE the, there's a little bit of a lag, a little hesitation there but still works good nonetheless just depends on how you have it mapped but they are very high resolution jog wheels and they work great with Serato DJ Intro and they also work even better with Tractor as well down here on the bottom you have your rubberized buttons, these are your transport controls, you have your sync, you have your Q play you have your Q and then you have your play pause button you also have a shift button to alter the different parameters of the buttons that you already have here when you're using it, this in Serato DJ intro you get four samples you get four different hot cues and you get six different effects to choose from you can't combine the effects in Serato DJ intro Serato DJ Intro is a basically bare bones type of program so you're only going to get a few effects but you activate your effects by pressing the buttons at the top and you have your effect controls here also at the top your, your knobs for your different parameters on those effects. You have two effects banks um, in Serato DJ Intro you can only use one effect bank per deck in other software you're allowed to combine the two here we do have your loop in and out controls for Serato DJ Intro 
and you also have your length selector here that way you can half or you can double the loop accordingly your loop move control does nothing when you're in Serato DJ intro it only works for when you are in tractor or if you are in virtual DJ LE when you're in virtual DJ LE instead of your four cue banks and four samples you get eight samples and eight hot cues as well you can press this button here and it kind of layers these buttons and that way you get more than just your four and four you get an eight and eight you also get all of your loop controls again you have your loop in and out and then you have your length and your move and they both work nicely when it's virtual DJ then you have your effects here you think you get about 10 effects in virtual DJ LE and you are allowed to combine the effects one from each side in virtual DJ LE you also have your pitch slider here your pitch slider works very nicely very high resolution great for writing pitch and for getting that perfect accurate pitch that you need when you need it so in conclusion the reloop terminal mix 2 is an excellent DJ controller it's nice and compact it has a great heavy duty build quality it's mostly all metal and construction the jaw wheels have a nice feel a nice emulation to them you have nice oversized knobs here these are great for getting your accurate EQ I love the oversized knobs they work very very nicely it also comes with Serato DJ intro for two deck and virtual DJ LE which is usually more fill featured than most virtual DJ LE software that usually come in the box with other controllers it's a little more full featured here so you get a nice four deck virtual DJ LE it also works with all DJ software because it is a MIDI mappable controller so it works with tractor there's already a tractor TSI file available to you guys there on the reloop website in case you want to use it with tractor pro there's also an emergency through aux input on the back and there's a lot of onboard features you got your hot cues you got your samples your loops and you got a pretty decent effect section as well on the con side there are no true full feature software included you know when you want to change maybe to more professional or if you want to unlock all the features that the controller can do you may want to purchase an additional software you may want to get the upgraded pro edition that way you get all of your features you get more effects and there's a lot more you can do with it and the other gripe was that there's only master level LED meters here there's no way to determine what each individual line is pushing out in terms of volume if you can get over those two small gripes this is a great controller we're gonna go ahead and recommend this to anyone who needs a nice compact controller if they're on the go we're gonna also recommend this to anyone who doesn't want to spend an arm and a leg on those other controllers out there it's a pretty good price point that it's coming in at um, we're also gonna recommend this as a backup device you know if there's a lot of DVS or other style DJs out there that just want to get their feet wet and maybe use this in conjunction with their pro software that they already have this is a great little controller that you can get and you can throw it in a bag when you want to take the take the show on the road with you so for more on the full written review, you can head on over to www.djbooth.net slash DJS. You can also follow me on Twitter at DJBlaze underscore DJBooth. And you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is at RealDJBlaze. We're also going to be giving this controller away in an exclusive giveaway soon, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, this is going to go away free to some lucky winner out there. We'll be announcing all of the rules for participation on Twitter so make sure you follow me there and we'll let you guys know how you can get one of these for free thanks for watching